Thank you, Joe. Hello, everybody. Um, it said, do be having a stroke. Hi, Moody. Hi, Bacon. How are you all doing today? Um, as you can tell by what I'm wearing, hold on. Let me just, let me just, uh, I'm just strapping properly. I'm playing, I'm back to playing a Dangan Romper 2. I haven't played, the, I played it since the, well, I played this one at all, so no spoilers. But I played the first one and I absolutely adore it. I am fucking Monokuma. <laughs> great character. Love him. Absolute, absolute bear. Oh, well, deal, dang my god. I shall, Joe. Um, yeah, how was everyone doing? Hope everyone uh, was good. Hope everyone's doing well today. We are just gonna, as so, I so saying, any spoilers don't because I haven't played this and I don't know what's going to happen. And for the sake of the audience as well, if you know what's going to happen, don't don't say anything. Absolutely fine. Ooh, that's not good for you. Someone else said they went for sleep on their break. Um, I think it was yesterday. Someone sent me a snap chat. I still use Snapchat. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, they said they're on sleep on their break. So that's, that's good for you. Um... The worst change that that's uh, yeah, because you got the work brain as well, so you were just trying to like mind dump. I get that. I wish I could have work like that, but that but we just solve all the problems. It's never you just like stress. I've got to wake up in time, and it's just like a power nap. If that, if you're lucky, hopefully it's not like an oversleep. It's true. You can have the best naps or the worst naps. Anyway, today we're a few by. Flap the ears for me. I can't flap these ears, but Moody, it's as if you knew. I do have flappy ears. I had a flappy ears hat. Of course, I have a flappy ears hat. There you can go. Yeah. <laughs> we 
I saw this at Comic Con uh, last year actually, and I was like, I have to have this. It was one of those things he's like hidden in like a big part of that, and either I saw it, my friends saw it, one of the two, and uh, I had to have it. It's true. Um, I'm not going to wear this the whole time though because it is really hot. And I'll save that for the trial because you know it's going to be trials. If you don't play Duncan Romper. Uh, Basically, the first game, you're in a murder school, and um, you've got a chance to sort out who does the murder. Um, and the bear is there as well. And I don't know anything about this game, so let's just see how it goes. Um, yeah. And then you send out the chat box back too, because I figured out how to fix it. Um, because I missed it, but that's what it is. I hope everyone's doing well, though. Let's just get into it. Go back on. Let's just have an update now, and we'll ruin it. I'm sorry, else got got planned today. Anything fun? I know Joe. You said you might be streaming today. Oh, this take. This is a bit loud. Let me know. I can turn it down because it is quite loud on my ears. Um. Let me know how loud it is because it is. This game does have no volume, which I remember that from last time. It's a good time to test it now. We'll take down just a tad so I can hear things. Right. So, doing Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. This is actually a lot nicer. Um, that's the opposite button. Uh, new game. Uh, let's go to the options. And if a couple of the other people got mad, credit mad, the third game government they played it. Well, it's the game government when they play it. Everything they're going to get mad at. So the music down a little bit. Everything else is fine. Radical speed, sure. Moving Bob, sure. Yeah, as much as the music's going to be good at this game, I want to turn it down because it is. It do be loud. I guess I press circle to go back. Okay. Sorry for the beginning. You know, the game groups played it, I mean, poorly, because it's, it's Aaron who doesn't know how to do the GIF stuff. Um, another good playthrough of it was the Lucagen playthrough, because it's it's just a good time to have the perspective. Um, we're going to do the English dub as well. I thought about doing the Japanese dub, but it'd be easy to just, like, just understand people and, you know. I did English dub last time. Logic difficult? I'll go for... Go for that. Sure. Why not? Hey! Oh, that thing's speaking. I'd have to do any other speaking. Thank Christ. Can you hear me? Sure, I'll do speaking later. But... Don't, you okay? don't expect masterful voice acting, by the way. You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, From me all the game. I'm also no, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Wait, are they getting on a desert island for this game? Hey, are you listening? I'm trying to figure out what's going on, buddy. How do I rate this character so far? Um it's too dead to really know anything about them. She's got the the weird hair and the dead eyes. Why am I here? What happened? I should I remember that at first? I began to think. Disentangling the twisted knots that the that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. Dots. That's right. I. I. Um. Cool. This little cute characters, that means it's cute, it's a cute game. That day wasn't just a typical day for me. 
to say that felt truly significant. <laughs> Stupid little face. <laughs> and when that long awaited day finally came, where I felt proud in a way I couldn't really put into words. It felt like I'd just become part of something, greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Hope Speak Academy, there we go. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who have to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. I can't, I can't read. Kids who have to play soccer will long to join a rep team. It's how we test things. Like, how else are we going to test things when no one else is chatting? We're going to be like, hello me, how are you doing? That's, that's weird. Who would do that? I actually would do that, but it's neither here nor there. Never since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Hello, Ken. How you doing? I mean, it's quick, it's easy, you can like fill out like a whole like row of things so you can see if it's like, you know, um, line breaking properly and not and, like rapping properly. I, I prefer it. You to tweak it still, but I mean, I literally just fixed it like five minutes before the stream started. So, this is what it is. Also, I bought backgrounds. I don't know why I bought spent money on it, but I thought you might as well make it look good. Gooder. Hope's Peak Academy is a government funded school for the privileged elite of society. Bomb it. <laughs> Excuse me. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire Piss Yellow Hope. I have missed Piss Yellow Hopes. And in doing so, shape the future. I'm doing good. We are playing some Dragon Romper 2. I have Flaming Hot Cheetos and Raspberry Prime. That sounds like a. <laughs> Sounds like a weird Amazon product, but it is what it is, and uh, it's the second delicious, delicious prime. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, Pissing yellow, if you come here to manage and graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or exaggeration at all. Many of you current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. And well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about, as they say. It's truly the Piss Yellow Academy of Hope. The two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be at a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike the other students, there aren't many entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That's how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Good. The possible yellow is real. It's, it, it is very pissy. It's super pissy. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. They're pissy Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desire more than anything else, because it's such a great school, let's talk about how good Hope's Peak Academy is one more time, shall we? The truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. But I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find it soon enough. It's not the question we're worth talking about, I think. But you talk about it too fucking much already. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. I guess we finally found some budget for the voice acting. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hajime Hinata. Cool. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be proud of. Oh, it's glitching. I always wanted to. That's that's interesting. I have this new phone, but like, holy crap, the typing! I, it does it does seem like it'd be a nightmare to type, but you get used to it. That reason alone is it a smaller phone? The reason alone, I always wanted to 
for that reason then I was always 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 etc so now I want to be how painfully ordinary I am that's why I hope I have my talent individuality but I squares I have finally forever circle tried my best finally came true three plus D huh what is this it's a door it's actually two doors um, but one of them the handle is not on it at all and it looks like it opens from well I'm gonna assume it's a sliding door in that case because it looks like it doesn't open regular normal way there's a door yep still I need to hurry because I need to go inside this classroom need what need good 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 language do no I should hurry so it inches slowly towards the door I should hurry oh there's our cast of characters that's okay okay Get a good look at them. Um, uh, I mean, there's some very interesting, very interesting characters here. Some not so interesting. Um, there's the girl at the back there with the with the hair sticking up. She's got some uh, something interesting going on. We got uh, um. The edgy guy at the back there with the sticky up hair too. There's all sticky up hair people. I guess it is an anime game, so <laughs> that would have sent. Found the main protagonist in the other left. Yes. Well, we're the main protagonist, obviously, because we're we're doing all the narration. As the girl is just staring out of the other girl's ass with the camera. That's that's cool. We've got um, yellow jumpsuit person. We have a chef. We've got this guy. Kind of looks a bit like Byakuya from the first game, but with like lots of weight. <laughs> It'd be funny if that actually was him. Um, we got Eric Trump right at the back there, next to the behind the camera girl and the and the Sonic Boom girl. Um, she's got the bandages on her. Uh, let's just have a little chat, huh? Who goes there? Feeling all right? You look quite pale. Thanks. It's winter and I'm British. Uh, um. Hey, could you be? You're also a freshman at this school, right? Sure. Uh, then you're all. See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. These guys, everyone, the freshmen who are accepting the high school academy, the ultimates. Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Sir, I've just met you. Buy me dinner first. <laughs> why do you feel like all these sonic human sonas are talking? Oh, but where do you say? They probably are. Uh, yes, of course. Wait, one of the things are polite. I don't think they're called ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right, first person's are crucially members like this. I need to act more confident. That's the type of nervousness from others, and while well, trying my very best to act cool, I'm going to send a talk to myself and uh, just be awkwardly staring at this guy. He's doing, the, the, the large guy is kind of doing the Luffy lying face, almost. <laughs> uh, and I love that face. Let's drop that away because it's good.
Anyway, what just happened earlier? I'm turning out. I wanted to be here, and then the classroom door appeared it's right in front of me. Uh, I'm not two and a half hours late today. I'm glad you're here, Trevor. Um, we're playing Danganronpa 2. I've been wanting to play this for a very long time. I know you were there during the first parts of it. So we're visiting this hell again, and I hope you're excited every bit as I am. I've got my little hoodie on, and we're going to be enjoying some high school murderings. We have a good day. Do you have any meetings today, Tara? I know you do be having all their meetings. That's how I draw onto it. How did I walk into this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Uh, excuse me? What? No. Surely not. <laughs> what is it? We were gathered in this classroom. No one says anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or a homeroom happening now? Hmm. I'm. I hope this is exactly what I think it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. Actually, we're about to discuss this matter. Discuss. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> Since you're the last one to arrive, I start the discussion. <laughs> is everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are these 16 deaths in this classroom, and this guy is a 16 student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. And just what are you going to talk about? This guy's got a weird face. <laughs> the reason we all gathered here in this classroom. First, need to confirm something. I have everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Huh? People looked around at each other. Surprise look in everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So, before you realize that you're in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's so natural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. I'm glad you admit you're stupid, um, Wendy's girl. I'm going to call you Wendy until I know your name because you like the Wendy's girl and I want burgers. Hey, hey what do you mean stupid looking? You got there eventually. So in other words... Who made you set foot in this campo campus? You felt strange dizziness and now you're here and you don't know why. That's what I experienced before I arrived here. I'm okay to assume that's true for all of you. Happened to me too, but the dizziness wasn't just me. Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. <laughs> Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? Huh? <sighs> I can't get over the fact that that guy Sounds and looks like Byakuya. And I hated him. And I really hope it's him. Or, or it's probably gonna be like his twin brother or something, but I hope to God it's Byakuya. Hmm? So in other words Meaning you can only speculate who's responsible for the strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? Those are words I can't say. What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Why are his eyebrows electric? I did notice him earlier. He's got the John Cena chain gang thing going on. Um, but he kind of looks like Wolverine Batista. I don't know what you talk so worried about. But that doesn't sound like a huge deal. I could read the words before I say that. It'd be good. Uh, what do you mean? person's interesting. So I'm guessing they're like a mechanic or something. Or maintenance worker. So what I mean is I mean it's a minor problem. So they're trying to figure out why we're here, we should figure out why we can't leave. What do you mean we can't leave? Hello, ma'am. Um nice badge. 
<laughs> Seriously? I watched him rush over to the door, try all his might to pull it open, but. It won't open. I can't open it. Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go and get, take a shit. <laughs> so like, we found the Mondo of the group. The door wouldn't budge at all. But how did I get in? How did I get in if the door couldn't budge? Surely if I would have walked into the door, they could have then held the door open. Like waiting for someone to come in because they clearly figured out those 16 people and 15 people were in already. Someone wait by the door, hold it open while I came in. Come on, game. Hey, hey. What's going on? Jeez. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? That's not oofy face. Look at those lips. <laughs> it's like a tiny ball bag hanging to the side. What do you mean you couldn't open it? Well, that's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went to open the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside for this classroom. Locked inside? Is that music again. Well, what do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. So a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Perhaps. Doesn't it make more sense to think that this is an entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Holy Speak Academies? No! I don't mean Holy Speak Academies. Fucking... Where else would it be? You do really... Mm. This game's really annoying me. But I love it. According to Hyspeak Academy, this no one should exam exists. What? They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong. Oh, you're wrong. It's not an entrance exam. That's a voice I've not heard before. What? What was that just now? I can't take you seriously. Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass! Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I would dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but the voice you heard was not mine. Huh? Then whose was it? Um. It's actually mine. Who's there? Where are you? Rar. Perhaps. Sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? I'm gonna finally see them. Hello. All right. I see everyone's arrived. Let's begin. Cutscene this time, which is nice. What is that? I would like to know too. What is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. <laughs> Look how tragic the music is. Magical miracle girl Usami, aka Usami. I saw you. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Hello, Usami. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? No, I see it too. Huh? What's the talking chihuahua? <laughs> that's a face. Yeah. yeah, that's a chihuahua? That's also a face. Everyone. So everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am, a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Huh? Hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. What do you guys think? I've never seen a stuff animal I can sing, dance, and talk before. Hmm. It's probably remote control or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. 
Okay, Eric Trump. Shut up. Hmm. Even if it's remote control, it doesn't look too like lifelike. That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. This movement and mannerisms is not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Hi, Trevor. How can I help you? Where did bad rainbows go? Um, I don't know. Where did bad rainbows go? Prism. I'm going to add that to the joke list. True. That's good. It's light sense to get in time to reflect. Everyone, please go follow Trevor11. Uh, they uh, do good streams of games. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. Appreciate that. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Come on. It seems like you need to think about our current situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. School trip. Come on. What do you mean school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, ding, ding. Now let's depart from this fun school trip. Depart. This is a tune. Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what had paid before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What, what in the hell is this? It's some blue and white. Excuse me, blue and white paradise. No matter how I try to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Anymore? They stopped. Um. Uh. What, 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 what? Remix. Are you kidding me? This, this is a joke, right? Emergency! Where are we? I don't like how everything's leaking. Why? What's going on? Please calm down. Stay calm. Words. <laughs> There's no reason to panic. See, you look around. It feels to us this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is beating washed clean, isn't it? Washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us details. Where in the world are we? You got a sword in your back? I can't look at the characters properly. Where you ask? Well, obviously, we're. Yahoo! At where it's better, at where it's wetter. <laughs> so, yeah. Good, good reference to. I fucking hate that song. Mm. Oof. I hate that song so much. Kingdom Hearts flashbacks. Out by the sea. You did it. I hate the sound of the sea, but what are we doing here? You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Like uh, but we're just at school, now we're by the sea, this is impossible. I mean, it clearly was implied that it was a set that fell down, so you obviously weren't at school. No Please don't worry, the school trip has just started, that's all. Hold on a sec. But like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped out all the stuff that comes first. She's right, we're all supposed to be attending a high school academy. Ah, Hoaxby Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. Because I feel like I'm sure about Hoaxby Academy. Then, in that case... Alrighty. Please just forget about Hoaxby Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? <laughs> 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 
The hell does he mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you... Just, what are you scheming? Oh, what? Oh, I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever, so please, there is no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It's prepared just for us, an island free from other people in danger. Are you saying this island is inhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought this unimaginable island to help make us kill each other? What a, what a weird leap of logic. Why would that happen? <laughs> what? Kill each other? Yes. No, uh, no way. Bloody bruises like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. God, that's so scary. What are you thinking? Then, what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you are relaxing this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with each other. Or one another, is what they said. This is pretty damn good, Ken. So the main rule of this heart-throbbing school trip... Heart-throbbing school trip... Right. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing around. Free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovely, dovey, heart throbbing school trip is Yippee everyone's homework. <sighs> what? How does that even mean? Uh, me, me too. Hello, uh, Sheffin. How you doing? Thank you for joining us. I'm assuming you are a fan of this game I, uh, if you are a fan of this game and you have and you have played it please don't spoil it for me or chat because we've not played we've not experienced this before and uh, it's a first time thing so you know that's just uh if you, no spoilers basically mercy hello long time no see how you doing and that's like a good good It's going good, it's going good. We're playing some Dangan Rumpa 2, uh, I, and I'm very excited to play it. As you can tell by the fact that I'm wearing a hoodie <laughs> of it. How you been? What's new with you? You guys love the split colors? Yes, um, I do too. Not enough hoodie to split colors. I know there's, um, it's a sleep token hoodie that has kind of a similar thing going on. I, I don't listen to them, but my friend has a hoodie and is like, I want that. It just looks cool. But I have one, so I don't want to. I think it's sleep token. I don't know bands. I'm very bad at music. Yeah, how you been? What, what's new with you? A sleep token. I thought, I thought they would be up your alley. Just sound like a very, very mercy thing to listen to. I got it right at least. <laughs> um, yeah, what's new? Hey, hey Ben, when are you doing a stream again? Because your last one was good times. Uh, I know you obviously you're busy and stuff, and it dropped so much. <sighs> on the blankets, they dropped so much more. It's like you know, it's all really good stuff. Hello, Cray. I didn't put my bot on. I did not put my bot on. Oops. It is not a onesie, it is a hoodie. It's got a little bear on it. I also have the hat. I have the hat too. I'm going to show the hat off again because it's good. But I'm going to save it for the trials, but for now. In the busy hanging in there. No stream, no clue. But I'm I hope so. Because. They go always good times, always good times. But obviously, life things always come first. And uh, gotta respect it. 
I know a lot of people have been taking like time out doing life things because you know, got sort of out. I did the same thing too. I'm, just, I'm kind of back into the groove. You do. Is there, is there a new chapter for it, or is it? I can't remember if you finished it or not. I know that you guys were just. It's so good. It's so good. I, I got it. I saw it. Um, in Comic Con. I, I saw it. My friend saw it. And we're like, it's like one of those hats buried in a bunch of other hats. I thought I need it because they knew I was playing Duncan Rumble One. It's just a fun time. <laughs> fun time. But yeah. No, I'm glad you're still kicking around. Giant spider in the stop. Yes, that's right. I remember the spider. And you were just, and then the, the whole time in that mine when you were just <laughs> trying to figure out what it's just very confusing mine to be fair. That was how, I mean, I guess it's a place called Labyrinthian. Very, very confusing game. Oh, it, was, it was good. It was good times. Very good times. I'm glad you will. That's all. Alright, let's get back to, let's get back to some games. I've got some terrible voice acting, so I apologize right now. What are you up to today? You anything you working or just chilling? Let the heart talking school trip begin. Goes to that same, but I had no idea what she's talking about. Couldn't follow her words at all. Neither can I. My vision has just gone strange. Just like that. The curtain's slowly lowering. Working needs to do a bunch of chores, but I'm procrastinating as I'm here. Respect it. Thank you for stopping by. It's always lovely to see you. Um, have to just like little sort of, like brain refresh you, and then you'll uh, you know find the energy again. Or not? Who cares? Fuck it. It's Thursday. It's basically Friday. <laughs> My mind ground to a halt. Let's begin to introduce everyone. It's, I can't read this quick enough. Okay. They're saving him for last, aren't they? They're saving him for last. I want to know who he is. Who is he? It's him! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Byakuya Togami was the absolute arsehole from the first game, if anyone didn't know. I'm so happy. Oh, that makes me... Oh. I can't believe I... Not only do they call that from looking at him, I was like, I'm not sure these just meant to look like him. No, no, it was him. Um, Yeah, that's... Beautiful. Um, the best way to describe him, he's one of these like he's one of these like rich, rich like douchey elite kids from the first game, who um, is just an asshole, just a big fucking asshole. Um, and you kind of wanted him to either be killed or be found out as a killer so he could be killed himself. And he never did. That little slimy bastard managed to be one of the survivors at the end. Spoilers for the first game. The fact that you saw him now is not really a spoiler. I guess. Um, what a what a dick bag. Can you hear me? Hello, Christy. How's it going? Are you okay? This is where we started off. You seem pretty out of it. Yep. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same, too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? We're not this. this is a story-based detective kind of game called Danganronpa 2. Um, the first one was a, like, a murder mystery kind of thing. <clears throat> I'm going to assume this also has it, too. But I don't quite know. I've never played it before, so we'll figure out as we go along. Um, we just found out that 
we're on a desert island instead of in a school. And we've just learned that Byakuya Togami is in the group with us. And if you played the first game, which we did, so I don't mind spoiling it, but kind of spoilers, he was one of the characters in the first game that made it through to the end. So if you want to look more on that, I've got my YouTube playthrough of it on YouTube. There's other playthroughs on YouTube too, but mine's a pretty bad one. The Game Grumps will do a good one. Um, but yeah he's a dick and he's back but he's now a little bit chubbier which is kind of hilarious because he was such a skinny little dweeb dweeb guy and like one of those rich snobby Tory twats basically hey hey you sure you're okay it's not reading when this by the way because I'm so happy you like the sound of my voice I'm glad I think I can't hear it Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean. Sun rays beaming down on me. The soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. You're on a beach, buddy. <laughs> That's what's going on. You're on a beach, there's a guy there with a coat on. Why is he wearing a coat on a beach? I don't know. That's surely going to be way too hot for him. I was supposed to turn up his academy. Why did this? Why am I in a place like this? The rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. No, it's it's barely cold. The fact that there's way too many clouds for it to be this bright and sunny. But sure, Curly could be. He could also be a lizard. That's true. I imagine he's like definitely has like got like frog or gecko eyes. I can see that. No idea what's going on. Yeah, let's find out what's going on then. It's the only thing I can say with that absolute certainty. Yes, you, me too. Welcome to Dagger Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. Let's click moving. Left corresponds. X button. Examine the button. Personal object. You can shift point of view with the right stick. Triangle button. You can series power to see everything you can examine. Super convenient. Okay. Now we're in control. This is this is the gameplay. We have just this little thing going on. Big boss is in town. Have a good time, Troa. Appreciate you being here. Um, hello, Troa's boss. Unless you can't see us, then Troa's working hard. I promise. Can I examine the seagull? I want to examine the seagull. That's my first. I'll speak to question marks first. It's a camera. Surveillance camera. Being monitored or something. That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> Let's waste time to think about. It. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? It's a fucking beach. How would you not be calm? Well, unless you don't like water or sand or seagulls. But yeah, maybe he's a chill guy. From hitting that beach weed. That's what we can see. A, the noises are horrible, by the way. I apologize. It's chilly. True. It counts out as being hot. Seagulls are are awful. They're the worst, honestly. Some of the, like top five worst birds for sure. Not all seagulls. If he wasn't a Disney character, he would be. A, he would be just the same. He'd be like swallowing cats whole and like dive bombing you for chips. Hi, Cray. How you doing? It's not, it's, it does look like a onesie. It is just a hoodie. I will, so I do a twirl, do a fit check. It's got, it's just, just a little thing. It's got a little tail on the back too. There's like a butthole. It's not a butthole. It's, I think it's not a butthole. <laughs> um, but there's one on there. I will not shake my butt. The world does not need that. My world does not need that. You'll might need it. Mine does not. 
It's a mighty fine pine tree, but now it's not time to be impressed by it. It does cost extra. That's at least like five tier three serbs. Yeah, this is not only fans, and if it was only fans, it'd be five three tier subs worth. Maybe on your stream, Kerry. But you don't even put the camera on, so what can I say? You are uh, called out. Let's speak to this guy before we finally learn his name. That's great. Before I talk to this guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in first. Why do we need to understand the situation we're in? We're on a desert island, it's a school trip, there's a rabbit thing called Sami, and there's cameras. That's the situation. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is it being used for? It's a monitor thing. Probably can... Now I can talk to him. Oh, fuck you. I, yeah, I've seen that. Hey. Okay, that was what we need to do. So, how are you feeling? You calm down now? I actually understand your confusion and everything that's happened. I'm glad someone understands something because I don't. Why don't we start with the introduction? Introduction? Do I, have I forgotten how to, to, to human? How, how how do I talk to people? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Nagito Komaeda. Cool. Cool. Ultimate lucky student. <laughs> yeah. So for those who missed the intro, every student in this is the ultimate something. Um. So he's our first ultimate that we've discovered. Um, the ultimate lucky student. Um, that's like a special, like I guess, special skill or whatever. In the last game, for example, we had a um, had Mercy likes up dog. Shouts them about dog. Mercy, how's up dog? What is it? Tell us all about it. What is up dog? <laughs> um, Yeah, in the last game we people like the ultimate baseball star, the ultimate like fan fiction writer, the ultimate um the ultimate gambler, that kind of stuff. I guess I'll tell you about my talent, so you know why Hexby Academy chose me. Well, if I tell you, in my case it's pretty supporting talent. Disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. No, you're Argito Kamada. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student. You're right. <laughs> I can't not read those questions without like repeating the last thing he says as a question without thinking of snake. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently the only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Has to be academy as the ultimate lucky student. That lucky wouldn't just happen to be me. Chosen by a lottery, is that really okay? I mean, is lucky even a talent in the first place? Sure. That's strange. What happened? My face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> Let's find out mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me. I never thought an average talentless high school student like me would ever enter HP Academy. First I declined, I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me he really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks an ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Hope Speed Academy is an interest is an amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well thanks to luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Speed Academy. So far that I am grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Oh, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Thank you, Cray. 
appreciate that so much. Um, let's have a give Cray a follow. They they do do streams. Streams good. They play a lot of Rogue. Sometimes Fortnite. Not enough Fortnite. Hint hint. Oh, by the way, now that we're here talking about stuff, I do. You see at the bottom of my screen there's a little like a. Uh, Thank you, Gray. Uh, I've got this going on for another f <laughs> four minutes now. Um, yeah, I've got a little like um, follower goal. My birthday is on December 15th, so I've started like a thing for a week before just to get hundred followers. So I can play one of the worst games of all time in a big long marathon. Maybe not all in one go, but like definitely, definitely try and hammer it, hammer it out. Um, I played it once when I first got my camera on, but I want to play it again when I'm not drunk so I can actually understand, play, play through it properly. <laughs> be a good time, but you know, just a little goal. We get my followers in it. So, yeah, share the, share the word. Spread, spread the love. Let's play some Sonic 06. Can make an omelette, FKF moment. Alright, Craig, have a good time. Tell us you're going to put in the omelette when you, or what you put on the omelette when you get back. Thank you, Lord John. I'm sorry, but I haven't viewed most things professing that pissed me with their lens. Yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Nagito Kamada, huh? Doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I am Hajime Hinata. I can't do words. Let me ask a question. What's your ultimate talent? Uh, I, I, I... I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt like my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened the book, expecting to find the words, and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as a wave of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. This thing remember me look confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you remember that soon as once you've settled down. It's like when you use like the trauma and you try and block out like whole years of your life. It's probably what it's like. We've all been there, sadly. So I don't uh, I don't think you need to worry about anything. My brain is completely gone dumb. Don't think you need to worry about it. Or, or like that much. You're, you're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our instructions for now. This is really distracting. What? Yes, you're a little distracting, Lord John. Even though don't know what's going on, we ho hope we can get along. Did something just beep? Get that sound, Lil John. A little weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand in my pocket. That's right, a strange mechanical sound just now. It just definitely came in the same pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. I'm taking this hood off, it's too hot. Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Sammy is passing them round, round earlier, remember? <laughs> Alright, you seem pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mentioned it, I did think I kinda of remember but what is this? <laughs> it's Annie Handbook. What the Where'd you come from? I'm sorry. After I start you, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Tee, I know I would apologize like a good girl. I'm not touching that with a with a heart shaped pole. Um. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for school trips, so make sure you don't lose it. This device is important. I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use the e handbook to gather all of Hope's fragments. Hope fragments? Yeah, that's why then you'll have to take note fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of the school trip. Love, love. Is this Love Island? Hey, she's gone. 
stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears whenever and wherever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's that deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> yeah, chat chatbot just likes to call out random names sometimes. Don't worry about it. It's it's nothing. Look at it, This was like a game, it's rather comfortting. <laughs> that means we aren't gonna get in, be any danger right away. You're probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the old other students here yet. Why why words are failing me? Yep. Yep. I think it's best if you go at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but where'd everyone go? Perhaps. Maybe they're spoiling the island as well. What is up, dog? Uh not much fan, what's up with you? Spoiling the island. As long as we expect to live on the island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's the island name? The name's really going to help. It's good to get to know what island we're on, so then we can... Why? Why? If there's any way to escape, about food and living arrangements. So what if it's introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? Pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. It's so nice decided to come with me. I guess that's helpful for me. I now would worry if I was left on my own. All right. Should we get going then? But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's a tropical climate. Or is it that what's her name? Sami's fault? What happened? What is it here, Jami? How's it going? <laughs> right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? Can I, I guess, can I... E-handbook, square, super easy, guideline, school trip, report card. Yep, save and load. There's more! Good. It's good, uh, yep. So one thing I have noticed is this guy is the ultimate lucky student. That was what we thought we were in the first game. Um, back no eggs, sad face. That is the worst omelette if you have no eggs. You kind of need those. You could just have like fried veg. Extreme violence proved on the island. Please live peaceful and relaxing. I see your fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let's coexist this island's bountiful nature with mutual prosperity. The lead teacher can't directly interfere with students, so expectation and exception of this rule is made. If student violates the rule. Okay. Those are the rules. Get pets? It's a little Tamagotchi. We get a Tamagotchi. This kind of thing. Oh, that's cute. These are all the students. So if we just leave. Hey. A bat spot on the island. It appears the map of this island is Miss Solon's e handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually. To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned anything everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. What you can research without on the internet? Yeah. That's the internet. Don't know, the school is so popular that message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, was I also? Hmm, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name is mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I stepped in Hopesby Academy. Yep. 
Anyway, how about you? So why don't you begin making your introductions? Okay, right. So first introduce yourself to everyone on the island, then... I should apologise. Something I forgot to tell you. I want to just introduce everyone on the island, game. Stop blue-balling me. This is the worst edging I've ever had. Look him up and you can make sure to see everyone is like, we just told us that. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. blah. It's okay. Traveling island can be done through this screen. You can move this. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's a very important I do know this, that. I'm trying to walk instead of using my. Okay. So we've been to the beach. Let's look at the map real quick. That's actually just probably not a terrible idea. That's beach. We have there not been discovered. Airport, branch, hotel, rocket punch, Central Island, Chapel Rock Park. So we've got first island and Central Island unlocked. Blue ball? Why are you blue balling? Jurassic Park. So we're going to the airport now, I guess. So that's how we got here. It's the airport, right? So things over there must be airplanes. I can't believe there's airplanes at the airport. Couldn't we use airplanes to escape the island? Yeah, who's the pilot? Idiot. Uh. <laughs> That's impossible. If they're all damaged, I could fix them. It looks like these planes just, just for show. Just for show? Man. Engines, engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? I have a border suit that I must have done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Sami. Who's doing this? Why did they bring us this island in the first place? And how do they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet you. I figured he's like an ultimate mechanic or something. Overalls which I give away. He looks like he's going to be a murderer at some point. He's got that look about him. I hope that's misdirection, but I feel like he's going to kill someone. He's giving me Leon vibes from the first game. So it would not surprise me at all if he was the first murderer, but they were trying to swerve us. As expected, if someone called the mechanic. Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If it says it's possible to fix the plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, if I actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us in must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't seem that pretty strange to you. Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. That voice. <laughs> it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. I was venturing the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember the school guidelines written in the Nagi handbook? Yes, I remember. I, re I read them. Yeah. Let's look at them again, though. We've read this already. Blah, blah, blah. Much authority. Don't let her. Don't kill her. Uh, teacher can't interfere until. Now. Unless we break rules. So we kept safe, so why wouldn't this feel like any other school trip? Hmm. Doesn't dangerous on the island. Spend those peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. As, as Sammy said earlier, it seems like these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what was that thing told us? My brain froze. She forced us to come here, you know? What? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? 
Autism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay, but just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closely at the strange looking bunny girl, she might stop looking pretty cute. Don't fuck the rabbit. Don't fuck the rabbit. That's not not what we want to go to go for. What's your jealous fuck hair for he's being right now? So he's now up to his relationship. Is there anything else we can look at here? Let's go so far as quickly remove the plane's engine. Do we want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Fiend. That voice. Stop right there. If you feel you value your life, don't come any closer. Huh? Fine. <laughs> Stay back up very well. I accept the courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? This guy is very edgy. <laughs> Would you like to learn my name? Others may see your courage as reckless as have I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. This man is special. Ultimate brute. What? What the world? Sorry, can we go over to Ultimate Breeder for a second? He's kidding, right? He's actually that serious. It's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it's my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? Which side did you make a pact with? Answer me. This guy is off the fucking rails. What do you mean, pact? Hold on. Answer me now. Do I shall cast you into the watery grave once you do? Then it's best I don't answer. Perhaps. I think he's asking you, do you have a pet? Pet? It's not the only I'll take care of was a hermit crab which passed around the elementary school. Impossible. So mere insect. Your, your magic this. essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. Trash, really? Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Who do you think I am? I'm the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. What? I just noticed the hamsters. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> Taming evil by using myself. It's a bed. Truly the secret of art of the Tanaka Empire. He's got little chubby hamsters. Look at them. <laughs> so this is the thing you see out of the nature show, I guess. He totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. That's what you know about Ultimate Breeder. I thought it was going to go a completely different direction. <laughs> what am I for? Dark died. Divas of Destruction? Mirage, Goldhawk, Golden Hawk, Jumpy. has to say. We are not going. We are not used to going easy on our enemies. Don't make us angry. You would not like us when we're angry. It's a reference to a thing. Faha. <laughs> Thank you, Gundam Tanaka. Oh yeah, he seems a little odd. Apparently, he did a splendidly as a member of the breeding club. But he can tame animal. It may manage to succeed in. Perth proliferating and endangered species. I was thinking the exact same thing, Bacon. He is so Professor Chaos, but like, like extra version of him. Really extra. You imagine you can speak to animals. Well, that's just probably just a joke. To speak to animals, he's certainly eccentric. Enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way an old person could attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. See for yourself, buddy. More 
entrances. Maybe I'll probably looking at them. Cameras too, okay. I think that's all here. Speed to one. It's just an essential people living to live satisfied lives. There's no danger of this island. I think tragic will happen on this island. I just to believe that while you live here. I can't think to like that though. The ultimate pessimist. Right, let's leave. On this note, I'm going to quickly go to the toilet because I need it. So I'll be right back and I'll see you all in like five minutes.
Okay, we're back. I did just type the music really, really well for that. I can see some more people. We're gonna walk there so we can get a little pet to hatch, hopefully. Um, we didn't crop that picture properly. We can see the little like artifacts at the side. She's, it's really obvious. Oh, they've hatched. Um, well, isn't that cute? She be me. I guess this one's be like there, whatever. It's got a little toilet. It's just walking around. It's very cute. Rocket punch market. Let's go. some more characters because I really want to meet some surf shop so this supermarket is pretty big one tropical island does that mean we're in international waters you're right thanks to this place we wouldn't need to worry about food or any other necessities for a while for a while wow. just a figure of speech so I guarantee that anything here is edible what if all this stuff is poisoned what you certainly are a skeptical type. Of course I am. If the supermarket is strange. Look around, we're in the check out the supermarket and there's no one else here except us. Mm. It can't be helped. Didn't Sammy say this item was uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Ugh. I'm guessing I'm the ultimate pessimist. What happened? What happened? It's nothing. I don't, I'm getting a vibe off you that I don't like. I want to say she's our um, Sayaka, but she's giving me also Toko vibes. I'm basing off the characters from the last game. So Sayaka was our like our friend at the start of the game who ended up dying first. Spoilers. And um, Toko was the weird like pessimistic, paranoid person. Who also was a serial killer. <laughs> it's the whole thing. She's staring at me funny. Um, um, you know, I'm s It's okay. Why is she crying? How dare you cry? Bullying a girl, not cool, Hajime. Yeah. Don't bully the girl by looking at her. How dare you look at a girl? I didn't do anything. <laughs> so your name is Hajime. That's okay with you. May I please remember your name? I can't tell you what you can and can't remember. Of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... My, my name is Mikan Sumiki. From the, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Me too, Mikan Sumiki. Me too. I don't think we will do. Let's be honest. Ultimate nurse. Alright, maybe I do want to get on with her. You know. Um, 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 my mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. I went through all that trouble of praying 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. It does seem excessive, but also relatable. So relatable. It's okay if you take your time to remember slowly. I'll wait as long as it takes. I'll wait for you forever. That's what it takes. Thank you. Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so. What's her deal? Our mechanic is the ultimate nurse. If you get injured, she'll need her help. So it's best you get along with her now. If you get wounded, or don't treat it. That's a good possibility you will get an infection and die. Totally sounds like morbid, so naturally. Hehehehehehehehe. 
<laughs> so, sorry for laughing so suddenly. Chill. Please chill. It's just, I can't help it. I'm so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. It's been a really long time. I mean, I, I'm sure you got many friends. It's not that you actually wanted to be friends with me. I'm so sorry. I said something so presumptuous. It's okay. We all make mistakes. <laughs> Do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Wouldn't you? Not cool, Haji, mate. <sighs> Seriously, what does this keep happening? <laughs> right? I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Hope and hurt seems like an oxymoron. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, wait. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. So military gets early. They even carry night vision goggles. Can't believe Super Mario actually sells stuff like this. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. It says Mother Cooper on it. It's like a vending machine, but it doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some sort of coin? That's one big cola bottle. It's also very two dimensional. Better go flat before we can finish drinking it. Yeah, it probably would. What are they sold now they get that case? Oh, yeah. Play for parties. Hi, who are you? So, like, oh, hi, who are you? Um, I'm Hijami Hinata. Hello. The tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh. <laughs> That's right. Instructions are a go-go. Don't know if I'm gonna like her, but I'm not gonna hate her. I think she'll be very interesting. Change your mind. I hope you die first. Ultimate musician. Oh, she's one of those. I like her hair, though. Her hair's cool. Yes. Alright, instructions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. It's really fantastic. I see. I see. You got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Ooh, melons. No problem, Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Ubari would shop here. Why have you got the Usopp nose? <laughs> yes! Man, I'm getting hella. Okay, she said hella. I already like her now. Never mind. I'm flip flopping with her so much. Getting hella stoked. I have 31 flavors of stoked all of them for this deliciousness. She likes food too. Okay. When I'm inside, I get hungry mungry. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm I don't understand it myself. When do you get do I get hungry when I become when why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? I think it's called horngry. Is that called sh oh is that oh it's span. I thought I said Sean. It's span. Badly edited spam packets. Ka ha 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 the human body sure is a mystery. This angelic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an old girl band that was super popular with the other high school girls. Apparently, the hit single is After School Porn Po Yon Yon Hour. Sold. I forgot what does that even mean? Super popular old girl high school band. That sounds familiar. Due to the crazy differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences. Oh my my! Are you interested? Why well, you can hear me? <laughs> Duh. Ibuki's a musician after all. Guitar! Like, <laughs> you just yell guitar. Like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna. I too am his awesome musician. I see you're saying you have a good hearing. Wait. Most of the people aren't musicians at all. It's true. I was going to say Sarah, that's de and Edison. Definitely. I don't know about Perez. Pretty good for Perez, but. 
Don't sweat the details. Yeah, I don't know if I like her or not, but I like her... What she's bringing to the table. Is there anyone else here? No. Leave her, yes. Hotel. Hotel is what Pimp says when someone up there. And they need to know where they got robbed. No, it's a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps. Shouldn't talk about mouthful. It's a very bad game to eat food on. Hotel Mariha looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. Well, we were told to live in this island. I was worried we'd pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. Even the grand hotel like this, I don't think I should worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't the option here. I don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. I mean, he's got a point. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would be a good base, so let me look around for a bit. Oh, this guy's so calm. So he, like, doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? Way to, way to presume. Okay. So this is like the home base here. Oh, there are people here too. I, I know I'm going to hate this guy so much. I'm going to hate him way too much. What the hell are you? Don't talk in front of me. Shit to me, dumbass. Because we're in a crappy mood. You? How are you looking at? You want something? You got something you want to say, bastard? Alright, I can't words. Relax, Fuyuhiko. I can't pronounce it. We need to introduce ourselves. Introduce huh? yourselves. Hey. See, I'm probably introduced to each other yet, yeah, right? <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Cool. Fuyuhiko. Ultimate Yakuza. Wow. This guy, baby face, also incredibly rude. Um. Fuyuhiko is a high student, school, high school student at the uh, Kuzu Ryu clan. The Kuzu Ryu clan? Didn't tell me he's. Yep. So at least had them before, right? The Kuzu Ryu clan, the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with membership of f surpassing 30,000. Which means the ultimate Yakuza. I had the Yasu Club, blah blah, and it's the Kuzu Clan, no less. Actually, by the way, mentioning his babyface for enemies is especially forbidden, so you better be careful. You run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close, I nearly lost all my fingers. Uh, Nakito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating, and guess not. Hey, bastard. If you're all done here, I bet you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off. <laughs> Brilliant. You look like, um, yeah, got him. That's Wendy's girl. Hey. Are you the guy who's squatting at the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Yeah. You are a boy, right? That's not very cool. Don't say that. You gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boys' job to keep the girls safe. I mean, way to stick to gender norms, I guess. You're right. He's not right. Do you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiru Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. I don't like you. 
Ultimate photographer. Actually, my hero is known as the ultimate photographer. She or a photographer. I said it really bad. Why did I say that, say that bad? It's weird saying that word written down. She's a promising future in as a photojournalist or a photojournalist. Journalist. Not an expert in photography. But I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. In that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. Ultra photographer, huh? There's a camera hanging from her neck. Kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Decent. A lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or just like insane. And we could get along with each and every one of you so we can get off this island, but I'm worried things won't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You don't know. It's the stuff animals tell me the same. Unless you finish collecting all your hope fragments and you earn by getting on with everyone. Come on. Should go to school shop be over and we can get off the island together. We have to do we can go home, is that true? Did she really mean that? Please. She's been playing closer attention. This is really, really important. Hey. Well, Jamie, now that you know this, you must feel like a little relief, right? As long as we live a peace, maybe we can be able to give the silence soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of being, bringing us here so we can leave together? Live together and get along. Doesn't make any sense. But... We may not know why we're here. That's all we have to do to go home. And that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal, really. We're told we're on a school trip without any warning. We're taking a place like this. And then we're told. Forget about Hayes Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey. Hey. Huh? Don't eh be. What about your introduction? I've been waiting, like, forever, you know. Ah, oh, sorry. Hijami Hitana, uh, it's nice to meet you too. I see. Hijami Hitana. Sorry, Hinata. I can't read. I keep saying that. So I disappoint you. I've already made up my mental note to remember you as unreliable Hijami. You better do your best. It's going to be tough here to change my mind. Better man up. I'm trying hard to do your best. <laughs> I see you up to already, Hijami. Talk about both of you, you better man up and do better. Got it? Great. That sounds normal and fine. Oh, I almost miss you. I have a feeling that they're going to do this. I mean, it's pretty obvious. That they're going to say, hey, there is another way to get off the island if you kill each other and get away with it. Which way? The trials and stuff. That's what I think. This guy. This angry lad. I'm just gonna leave that there. Hmm? That's right, you haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. I see what they did here. They swapped him and Mondo's character builds over. With the Yakuza guy. It's funny. Mondo and um Taka. Characters from the first game. Mondo was the ultimate something, I can't remember what it was, but he's like the, the, the biker, biker gang guy and Taka was the ultimate like something, I can't remember what it was, but he basically like, the nerdy, like punctual guy, he's like super enthusiastic Nekamaro Hello, I'm Hajime Hina Hinata Hold it right there, your voice is too soft. You said that. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm Hijami Hinata. <laughs> no, you can let him not do it again. My name is Hijami Hinata. Please make your acquaintance. Don't you forget it? Even if you go to hell. Okay. I'm the ultimate team manager, Nikomaru Nidai. Don't need to repeat your name so much, I won't forget it. <laughs> Gaha, I call you to your terms. He still his voice, just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yep. Then the ultimate team manager. 
not team manager. So he's not just on a team, he's just manager's one? Nope. He's not just team manager, after all he's the an ultimate. He's travelled numerous towns and played active role in various sports clubs managing the teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. So he rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led to national victory as well. Whoever has it, he even trained a famous Japanese pitcher who played in the American League. If all that's true, then he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager. But. I agree. But with a bit like this, he's better off playing on a team instead of managing it. <laughs> Penis. I think that's everyone here. Yeah. Oh, you're here too. That was him already. This is me. This kind of seems to come to the hotel room, guest room. Because we can't go in them yet. That's fine. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel room like this, I don't think we're very comfortable. We said that already. Alright, let's leave. Okay. I'm going to walk around a lot, but I'm going to walk a lot now just to be on the safe side. Get it out of the way while stuff's calm. Cows? Sammy Corral. <gasps> Burbs! Stuck like a ranch. You don't have any animals around. Ah, right? oh, you found it out. You can see where you keep appearing from. I, I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to his handy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Just talking about that toy she's holding? Yes! What other stick was she to be talking about? Hmm. Still, I'm quite troubled. A bunch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty, Alrighty leave it to me a magic stick. It's handy dandy. Bibbidi -bobbidi, bibbidi -bobbidi. Nice cock. Boah! Um, for huge success. What's that just now? Chicken changed to a cow? That's not it. That's why I still feel a trick illusion. I bet it was still before we got here. Alright, Mr. Satan. She's probably trying to make us feel happy. I guess it's the opposite effect on you, Hijami. A trick and illusion! Well, if you think rashly, it makes sense. <sighs> Does it? Chicken can't change to a cow. We're seeing the thing, things like that. It's just not cool, you know? It's a bird. Try like a bird. That's what I should call it, right? No idea what's going on anymore. Why is that looking... cummy? So I'm Corral, I guess it's a ranch. How can they rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I guess you shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. No, exactly. Um... I know we want to speak to her as soon as possible, but let's... Let's let's wait wait for it. Squish, squish. Don't make me regret my choices. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down. She keeps pressing her fingers on the floor with her lost strength. Uh, UK, you okay? I've introduced myself, right? My name is Hijami Hinata. Hmm? Ultimate traditional dancer. Well, that makes sense given what she's wearing. She hasn't stopped pressing her fingers on the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? Her appearance and her voice is so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, uh, Hyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. 
Yeah. What do you perform overseas many times? Cool. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Seems our performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, our fans are mostly men. That's gross. That's very gross. Casual gaming. Hello. How are you doing? You had extra teas. You did, but that's fine. You could be uh, Miss T. It's like Mr. T, but but obviously not. Obviously, Lady T. That's good. Like the eloquent, eloquent Mr. T. How you doing? We're playing Dungeon Robber Two. It is a story-based game that I think is a gonna be like a murder mystery thing. But so far, we've not had any indication of there being a murder. But I think because they know that this game is a sequel to the other one, they're trying to drag it as long as possible. So I'm expecting some murder mystery stuff to happen at some point. And doing good though. And doing good though. We're just we're just chilling, um, getting to know all the new people. Some of them are very weird. We go back to meet a very very nice person um, after this person. I can't say why she's nice, but um, I think you'll understand why she's nice once we get to meet her. Um, it is as Thursday as a Thursday can be on this this day, which is Thursday. Hope you're having a good Thursday too. She's gonna she's not gonna have boobs. Don't be silly. God. I mean, I mean, uh, does everyone have boobs? I've got boobs. It is rarity. It is absolutely rarity. Don't, you're not helping. You're not helping, Hyoko. What exactly are you doing? I'm squishing. Squishing what? I'm sorting lots of Mr. Ants. I thought she was going to be murdering bugs. She's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Come again? <laughs> if you squish their tummy just right, it makes this awesome sound. That face, though. Do you want to do it together? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hell no. Okay. You wuss. This kid, I actually doesn't match her prints at all. That's people for you. Alright, let's go meet this new other person. She looks like a very, very fun person to get to know. Um, Yo. I can't can't say why. It just looks fun. I mean, it's, like she's got a nice badge. Um, her her uniform's nice. It fits fits well. Um, no, it's just a coincidence. I mean, uh, people have boobs. That's just that's just silly. I like her hair as well. Her hair's really good. The little fangies. I said fangy with G. Like a tan. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, definitely not the boobs. Def definitely not the boobs. Um, at all. That's the fan menu. I'm Jame Hina. See, he's really excited to meet her too because she's just got such a, like a nice personality. Gotcha. His other dude. What? You already met. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pretty much suck at remembering names. And I met so many interesting characters today. She doesn't say her G's. I'm Nakito Kamada. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo. Yo. Nice to meet you. She said meet you like Luffy. See, that's why I liked her because she's like Luffy. She says meet you. Mm-hmm. She, I mean, it's just, it's just a camera camera angle. It, it, they're probably not that big in real life. Def, definitely, she's just a really good person. Just a really fun person. I mean, I mean, sure, they got blush on them a little bit. I mean, why am I? But that's just that's just it's just yeah. Ultimate gymnast. Oh, she's she's very she's very fit and like agile too. So that's that's very good to know. You know. Mm-hmm. Kanye's only the ultimate gymnast, so they're an all round super athlete. <laughs> Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker. Oh no, that's that's naughty. Don't do that. 
<laughs> but uh, ability, I think ability is off the charts. It sure is. She's like definitely a 10 out of 10 for um, athletic ability. However, her basis and fundamentals are all over the place. So her gymnast routines are mostly improvised. Ah, oh, so she's, she's sticking on her feet. That's good. She's, a, she's like very smart, very smart and like intuitive. She's in her groove. She performs splendidly, but she's not. She loses interest and switches it up. See, I told you, very interesting character. Half the cinema, and when we cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. It's not, it's not trouble making. She's a. She's just. She's just a really, really clever person who doesn't do things by the rules. Even so, she'll call the ultimate gymnast for a reason. Her performance is amazing to see. That button is. The button's fine. It's just, it's a very good button. I can't visualize her normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. Yeah, see, she's got a very fit physique. What? Don't tell me you, oh, I get it. See if I think of sexy body. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Um, this guy's just making up stories now that It's an appearance that it's like a regular run of the mill cow with a neck on a hinge. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? She does a very fair physique. She's just just a very sporty person, and that's what we like. Also, I like how they paired the one who's a child with the one who's an athlete. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, hold on. Let's look at the map real quick. So we've been to the ranch, we've been to the hotel site, been to the rocket punch mart, been to the airport. Yeah, we can go to the central island now. Let's just go to Chabawak Park. Gated. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. Mm. So there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems like we can't cross it. it seems to be the case. Mm -hmm. That's how gates work. What are you up to today, anyway, catch up? Anything fun? If this is three, it's going to say the same thing. First island? What? What did you find, to be honest? I want to go to the park! So that's the way. I'm doing a little work lately. Excellent. Love that for you. Um, how do I get to the park? This is on PS4, but I think it's available on everything because it's a, because it's a yeah. Sorry, the um, spicy chip got back in my throat. Then oh, I can do that sort of run a fast travel. Talk is in my book. Yes. Oh, look at that sprint. Look at the poo! Oh, they've died. Oh, they died. Oh, no. I let it poo, let it poo too much. That's why. Oh, I'm stupid. There's Tamagoshi. Yeah. It's very cute. I've got to keep paying more attention to them, clearly, because it's going to put itself to death. 
So this is a park. This is the park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a laid back attitude. If we want a situation like this, I'd probably enjoy some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. How are introductions going? Would you like to Oh, another feature. Good, more features. Do you ever notice we have a level assigned to you? It's displayed in the top right of your screen. Level increases before various actions such as walking, examining, and talking to others. You show me level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase up. Please try your hardest to level up often. It's a bronze statue of various animals, plus it's pretty huge. It's pretty Amazing. Huge. Oh, what a grand statue. Yeah, it's grand, but it's also kind of creepy. It's a fucking statue. What? It's like they look splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. Yeah, shark, snake, tiger. What did I say shark? There is no shark. <laughs> Where did I see a shark? I want this to be a shark. Eagle, horse, tiger, snake. Let's got this guy to speak to. Have I missed someone? I, I, there always needs to be a shark. We've spoken to... We've missed some people. I haven't seen her, her, or her. Or like that guy. Um. What do you want? What do you want? It, it sent to school, but they went on the they, they got sent to a school trip like almost immediately. The first game was set completely in a school. This is kind of like a Love Island kind of thing, I would just guess, or Survivor. This guy's presence is overwhelming. Doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Abyakia. Time for a small introduction. Introduction. Come on, Hajime. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. There he is. Ultimate affluent progeny. I'm done. That's it, right? <laughs> this character is a recurring character from the first game. He did not look like this, believe it or not. He was a very small, skinny, weedy little rich, rich Tory boy. And now he's, um, now he's not a skinny, scrawny, rich Tory boy. He's clearly um, enjoying his food, which we'd love that for him. They sure they get very good food with the money he has. But not body shaming. He just, he just, you know. People like food. Food's good. Back off. You can tell this guy's thumbing his nose at me. Mm. So is this Byakuya for you? What do you mean? Actually, this guy's pretty special even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing business operations and his net worth is well... Enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. You there. Hajime, is it? Yeah? Tell me, why did have the Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Uh, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? Apparently he's lost memory due to shock. I can't seem to remember much. <laughs> Foolish. Uh, yes. I do believe you finished talking. How much longer do you tend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing your skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave it, Hajim Hajime. The air is your thing. This build is that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is that what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? So, <sighs> whatever. I got nothing to say, dude. I don't like how they're implying that he's big lad, and it's because he's big. He, that's 
I don't know. But, you know. Did I miss something here? Or is that just showing where I can meet people? Where have I not been? Been to the beach. Beach. Airport. Rocket punch. Ranch. Hotel site. Hmm. Maybe there's more hotel side I've missed. Is there anywhere I can think of? Restaurant lobby front. Okay, I could go into the restaurant lobby in front. That makes more sense. This might be. Might be. Good thing I realized. There's some missing people. Yeah, even inside this place looks grand too. If this is really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. Why think anyone's in this hotel? Now, now. Is it inhabited island? It can't be helped. For an inhabited island, this place looks pretty well kept. It seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? <laughs> Guess there's receptions, but there's nobody here. Even as an arcade machine. This is the great. This is a grand hotel. It's like we're in in a hot springs district or something. Got a, got a foosball table, some pool. Um, got sword lady, and we have pigeon tail lady. Um, this character looks like to be more important because their eyes are red. So we're going to speak to them last. They're the thick delayed response number. She Oh, how dare you! <laughs> now, you do love thinking. Um, Maybe not an asshole, thick king, um, but he's not an asshole because he's thick, unless he's making that his personality. Bants, Captain, good morning. How are you doing? Lovely to see you. Um, just, just so you know, I've not played this before, so if you do know this game, please don't spoil it. And if you don't know this game, good, you're in for the journey too. Um, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've got like a little uh, follower goal. If I get to uh, 500 followers by my birthday, which is in 43 days. Um, it's true, he's not so good as a Tory. <laughs> um, I play Sonic 06 and have one big marathon, and it's going to be hell. There's gameplay down really excellent. Um, yeah, please try to avoid spoilers. Obviously, we'll be talking about the first game a bit some every now and then, so that's fine. Because uh, we have played that, but we've not played this one, so I want the mysteries to be a mystery, if there are indeed mysteries, which they're going to be, let's be honest. It's a girl playing an arcade machine. She looks kind of completely absorbed by it. How are you doing? Let me see you. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't probably introduced yourself to her yet either, right? No, I've just met her. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She's really focused on the game, but I guess I should try and talk to her. Excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey! Chiaka, Chiaki. I'm gonna Shaka, like Shaka Khan. Not the cat I used to have. Good times. Sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. Clearly, you sure about that? Let's see, all right, instructions, got it. Yeah, hey, dude, have you have a good day, uh, Bounce Captain. I'm Chiaki Nanami, Chiaki. the ultimate gamer. Ah, Video games are my hobby. get in line. I'm a fan of all genres. We are all ultimate gamers. A fan of all genres. You're just a fake gamer fan, you haven't played them at all. I mean, you don't, what, do you even know what a Dark Souls is? Because we have just met everyone for the first time. Um, he's also... Um, every, basically, when the game starts, you're, you're, you're put into a room with a random, bunch of random people you never met. And everyone was like kind of confused, figuring out, trying, what's going on, where are we? Yeah, basically, probably, no one knows each other yet. So this is, our, this is our way of getting to know each character's name. And... Um, what their quirks are, I guess. Before we like, we can make like first judgments and impressions on them, which is why we really like the um, the athletic girl. The, she's just like such, such a gymnast. Mhm. Mm nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, 
They did some of this in the first game as well. You basically everyone's in the same kind of area. You can get to know them, get the personalities, and like a little bit of banter with them. And Kyoko was there. <laughs> Ultimate gamer. I'm Hijami Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Yep. Totally. Seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Not that she's gaming right now. Well? It's more like I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. That's absolutely fine. I respect that. Like I can't think, I can't talk to them unless you already prepared everything I want to say in my head. That is a mood, especially when I meet new people. Well. If I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. That's so relatable. I like her. She's going to die, isn't she? She's going to die horribly. <laughs> Still a little focus on the game and she doesn't look at me at all. She's the ultimate gamer, but how could she play video games at a time like this? Because it's a fucking distraction. This is her coping mechanism. Sleepy. Same. Oh, the snot bubble. That's very not adorable. The drill is also very relatable. Speaking of which, I should probably check on my little rat. That's died 5,000 times already. And this one. State your business. <sighs> She's cold. I'm somehow drawn. It's the grey hair as well. It's just like, ooh, mysterious. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. That right with you? Introduction. Understood. Just so I don't mind. I'm Hijame Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko, Peko it is nice to meet you too. Peko, Peko Yama. Ultimate Swordswoman. That doesn't surprise me. Actually, it's dignified looking. It's the Ultimate Swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with such a cute name like Pekka Pekka Yama could be a skill with a blade. Haji... Hajime. I'm terrible with, with pronunciation. Thank you for helping me. I heard she's a kendo master and the most adult men wouldn't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. Jammy dodges. Hey. Maybe he likes his biscuits. If what the rabbit says is true, we're expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women to live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I prefer not to kill anyone. I miss the toffee dodges. I think those are better than the Jammy Dodgers. Those are really, really good. Kill, isn't that sword in your back made of bamboo? Yes. That may seem possible to kill someone with this. I'm just saying, bloke, you can kill someone with anything. I'm from the US, but, and the best Tommy Jaws I ever had was when I went overseas and bought store bought brand Jammy rings at Tesco. Tesco's are pretty good for like store brand stuff. Like, they're, um, their baked beans are really good. Compared to regular baked beans, and also they, um, their cook pops are pretty good too, um, and their curries. They're like their instant curries are pretty good. Well, well, well aimed blow can be fatal too. Yeah, we said that. Keep that in mind. We'll find one more person. Let's uh, restaurant. They're Poco Cops. Damn right. So this hotel restaurant. Amazing. It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It's kind of that, that tropical country feeling. Words. Words are hurt. Words are hard. Open. They were stuck on this island. Are they really stuck here. What else could it be? Sorry. Oh, let's finish our introductions first. Look, the two people circling over there. That's right, I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. That really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth and suck it out. 
poison, nice sea. Hey, did you guys have a moment? What denied? Denied. Good day. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna say it wrong every time. I don't care. Well, hello there. You used to be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. I'm gonna call you Gordon Ramsay. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? No. It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? I hate this person already. It's their, their face is really punchable, and I just don't like them. He's got the Trump hair too. Just the, like, with the fucking braids. Is that a braid? It's terrible. Hope we get along well. I am sorry. Don't mind me. Not properly introduced to myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia. Never mind. No, I can't pronounce that name. I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Nova Selic. I think I'm, just, I'm saying it wrong. I'm saying it my way. Thank you, it's great spot. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here, I hope we can get along too. My porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters in like fields of wheat. Watch out for Theresa May running around in it. It's like. She has this serious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actually royalty. Chris never said, like, space this for Nirvana. Didn't know that. I got the CDs, but I didn't know that. It's because I didn't. I'm not a bad person myself. Well, good to know. Thank you. Thank you. Ultimate princess? Don't be surprised to hear that, boy. Not sure how that relates. I mean, just probably just a reference. So, I mean, you know, you know, they like the references and these kind of things. So just a beauty. She's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease. Other she's a real princess. She's gonna be. A, she's gonna be two faced for sure. She's w way too nice. She's giving me the Celeste vibes. Um. It's very rude to say, but truthfully, I'm so, feel happy. What are you happy about? In my home country, I didn't have a single friend of my age who was standing aside to match my own. Mm-hmm. There we go. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall exalt your virtues. Exalt my virtues? Thanks. What the hell? I certainly feel the have to drop a knee and bow. Hey, you three, I'm being left out of the menu or something? Fuck off. No, was, that's not it. She's just better at talking to people that isn't fucking up her own ass like you, Trump. <laughs> oh, Terror Terror, it's so like you to check out the restaurants first. The ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I'd be lying if I wasn't interested. Since I do not want to be a liar, and truthfully, yeah, I like it. Well, Though I had the big city flavour in my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, you Understand. refined, cultured, guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? <laughs> what was I worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why's that? Mm -hmm. If I get serious real quick, stop with the two fingers. I have a sneak suspicion in there. Miss Peck is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. And there it is! And there it is! What do I think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong too. What are your thoughts on that? <sighs> it's <laughs> not great. That's great. He's got the nose, he's got the nose we too, and he's a chef. Is this just a worse version of Sanji? Sanji from One Piece, for those of you who don't know, who's a chef who's also a, a kind of a pervert. 
Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sanji from a One Piece. Uh, he's a swelly eyebrows guy, blonde hair. Also a prince. Spoilers. It's a great character, um, but also, you know, he has that trope of being the pervert anime character. Um, the 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 Netflix show, not so much I've heard, but yeah. I mean, there's, there's a storyline where he um, finds out a guy's invisibility power was spying on one of the other characters. And he doesn't cover this game. Interesting. Interesting. There's a storyline in the um, where Sanji discovers that one of the characters has like invisibility power up and he confronts them because he's spying on the girl. And his main reason for being angry at him wasn't just that he was spying on the girl with invisibility power, it's because he wanted that power for himself. And obviously you can't have that power more than once. So, like, great. Thanks, Sanji. And then there's the other storyline where he was on the Okama Island. We're talking about the click live route, we are indeed. I'm glad you were our One Piece one Piece fan too. Yeah, he he also was on the, the Okama Island, which was the gay island, and he learned how to do the jump in the air power, which I don't know the words, the the, the moon step, whatever it's called, to get away from them. And then he went, had a nosebleed so hard that he lost blood when he went to the to Fisherman Island because all mermaids. That was good too. That was really, really... Most bleeds in anime basically means they've got a boner, but they can't really show it. So, yeah. It's such really aroused. That's why he's got blood coming out of his nose here. Fun times. Love love that guy to try. But also, suddenly he's got some of the best moments in the show, which is, like, really hard to, like... It's really confusing character. No thanks. <laughs> I'm putting that aside for now. Something also seemed like unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonia over there is a good chance of putting out. Fuck off. Fuck right off. I hate you. I hate you so much. See, everyone knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, I could tell her my own loins are full of poison and I was going to suck it out, but she didn't fall for it, did she, you dumb idiot? Is that what you talking about poison earlier? Um. Pardon me, what are you talking about? We'll discuss this later. They really made this character so unlikable, which I guess is why she probably would have fallen for Avian probably. But let's ho hope she's got more sense. He is going to die, and I don't know who's going to kill him, but I can't wait. I really cannot wait. I am so excited for him to die. They've written the heel, and he is the heel. But not see you try that again. Yeah, anyway, we're fantasizing about stuff like that. I kind of to look forward to living on this island. When it comes to cooking, and love and passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Yep, yep, yep. He uh, he sucks. He sucks. <laughs> Our first ding dong, bing bong. School bell just now? Huh? Ichami, look at that monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm I'm so happy. So I've prepared a present for everyone. I can't wait. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May shining hope be with you all. You think about it, Sammy. Um, interesting. I like how they're very cute and like happy and positive. It's kind of a play on Monokuma, but also like really cute. So it makes me think that there's going to be an opposite, more evil version coming at some point. Because it's been way too nice and cutesy so far, apart from, obviously, the chef. What to do? 
She said we need to the beach. It's gonna be okay. I'm starting to have bad feeling about this. What? I'm thinking myself of anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that a precaution really enough? Point us, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. So can I just can I just walk there? Like I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm in two minds about it, Sammy, because I was hoping to see more Monokuma because obviously Monokuma is great, but they've got to be coming at some point, surely. We're gonna run so we get Tamagotchi to hatch. So we kill the last ones. They suck. Hatch yet? Sass. You're going to speak as hard as you go up? Excellent. Hooray. Better not kill it this time. Better. Where's the beach? I missed it. Not dead. Second one alive. Take two. Uh, I've still got a way to go. Still got a way to go. I think. Oh, that's the. Oh, I'm su sucking. There we go. Yeah, I won't ask for any help of where to go unless I'm completely stupid, which has happened before. So just. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? It's <laughs> really keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, that's all right. Importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves for the rabbit returns. <laughs> he sure did. I was so happy when I saw him. I was like, I was like, that could not be Biakia. And then when I heard his voice, I was like, I hoped. I was hoping so much it was actually going to be him. And then I was like, yep, this is definitely him. It was it was great. It was glorious. Because he was one of the characters I really thought was going to die or be a murderer in the first game, and the fact that he weaseled his way out of it. Um, spoilers, by the way. I'm not going to say who else survived, but he was he was one that did. That's kind of disappointing, but also I was hoping they bring him back at some point, and they did, which is great. Let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Happens in its numerous blocked up bridges on the central island. Oh. Oh, those are these really. Oh, those are there so everyone doesn't get lost. I can't words. I like her, but she's very weird. I hope that she's around for a while. I tried to cross one of them, and the rabbit showed up and told me I was some telling the truth. What? Soon I get lost. The sign's really so big. <laughs> If you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. You think I should let my friend? No problem. See you when I see you, Catch Up Gaming. Love you to just do we got a deal. Um, it's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from fruit to living amazies. The hotel's really nice too. It'd be great if we could stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also really nice. It seems to cater for more plebeian tastes. I don't like you. I, I, I just don't like you. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say too? Fuck off. I don't want to hear anything about you. I found something very important on this island. I can't stop Girls. Very, very cute girls ah, all over the place. Fuck off. Fuck you. Gross. I'm getting goosebumps. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody's mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not 
possible. If no one in here has realized that you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dog shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth. What does he mean? Have I got to talk to every single one of these fuckers? Okay. Seems like I figured it out as well. Want to know Gundam? Gundam? What is it? You wish to know you must pay me the price. After all, this world is ruled by the law of an equivalent exchange. Total coming very, very large dog. Hey. Large is, is great. We respect it. Um, but he's just a shit dog for other reasons. However, is someone like you capable of offering me a tribute that would satisfy a such as myself? Please know what it is. Yep. I see. It seems everyone's explored this island. Just like Asami said, there seems to be no danger. Byakuya said he found something there. I wonder what it is. Probably gives a speed to Byakuya. Um, just want to talk to one more person for no reason. Hey, hey, hey if you're going to talk to me about something boring, I'm going to swim, okay? Just don't do your own thing. Asami's coming at you. Uh, let's hurry up, chop chop. Yep. What a free spirit. I like her free spirits. Um, they're really good. What's the serious truth? Did you just find something that was about this island? <laughs> Have you all gone up to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. I swear I remember the story I heard before. This island of the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island in paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. I guess probably where we are then. It's also that five holy animals symbolize each of the surrounding islands. Eh? Listen. The island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of the island? Very strange. Still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabbok Island is already. Hmm. Never mind. Hold on. Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. I need to shout. I'll let you all know once I take more information. Uh. I don't care what this island's called. Uh, Nico Nico Island or pa Papu Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we've got to live here, right? It's <laughs> correct. She's talking for so much sense. Like, everything she says is so smart and wonderful. Living together in this shop car is sure exciting. Super looking forward to it. Why don't this any basket at all? Hey, you guys. I like it. I like it's too. <laughs> Can't say the same about the rest of you, Cretans. Or Cretans, if you're saying it from the US. I don't like the word Cretans. It's better than saying Cretans. I don't know why. I feel like I'm used to it. Huh? Did I hear something? Hmm. I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger of inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Here's what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Super Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why didn't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Yeah? To tell you the truth. Plus, even if he wants us to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. I find I discovered there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it'd be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? Yeah, that's very smart. It's a very good idea. We should definitely do that. I think we should all go for a swim. Don't be such a, don't be such a pessimistic. Show some spirit. Yeah, show some spirit. What? I'm telling you, you, it's impossible. What if we cut down some trees and make a raft? No, you. -uh, you can't do that. That's the biggest of no nos. Please record the guidance of the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist in silent and bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. 
God, I want everyone to get along and live peacefully in this beautiful tropical island. That's what the rules. Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions can place everyone here in danger? The word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it should seems there is no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off the island soon. You're all just going to believe that? There's no other choice but to leave it. For now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, I'll answer that in a second. <laughs> anyway, Sammy, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Love. That's right, of course. Didn't forget. Love. 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 This is it. Then we've said I've prepared one for you all, so don't worry. Um, that's my feeling too. What is this? <laughs> it's an Asami strap. Um, please elaborate. You squeeze the tummy, it talks. Is it a cute love love? What a waste of time. Aww. Got my hopes up too. Me too. I wanted something really. something really sinister to happen. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like rabbits. Well, Sami does mean rabbit, you know. Didn't know that. Now we do. Regardless. A number of the uh, Sami straps ended up on the beach anyway. So I figured if everyone's received their strap, they should just toss them on the beach. You can't take nature with trash. You shouldn't. See, you really think they're trash. <laughs> Sami sadly picked the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Aww. He prepared the one more present too, but no, I don't want to give it to you bad kids. You need something else? Um, Look, quite these times it's not that big of a deal. I basically prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Hey. Let's try a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way into a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island themed. <laughs> like, what do you think about throwing a big party or something? I would love a big party. Um, I would love for you to come to a big party. As well, Akane. It'd be, it'd be good. Um, welcome back. We are talking with Usami, the rabbit, and she's given us some Usami straps, which talk. And now they're going to give us a motive. Um, and Akane's here, and Akane's great. Um, she's still got so many good ideas. Um, it's just, just wonderful, honestly. I would love to come to my party. I would, I would throw a party just for her to come. Exactly, exactly. Um, you should. We should only love someone who is worthy of love. Mm -hmm. She got. She's got the biggest brain. She's just so smart and intelligent. But yeah, you should never love someone unless they're worthy of love. It is not an obligation to love someone, especially if it's someone who is implied to love, like family. Because sometimes family can be shit. And yeah. Respect is the two-way thing. It's got to be earned as much as it is. You got to show it. Unless your name is Akane, in which case we are. Um, she's just, she's just perfect in every way. Um, let's just just no no other no, no way to say it. She's just the best person in the whole game. They're so smart and funny. Correct. Exactly. Even the game thinks this is correct. <laughs> It's totally funny. I disagree with that. Only because only because some people in the family can be shit and just because they're a family doesn't mean to get away with it. But I respect your choices and beliefs. So, so some people can be bad. And they use 
the label of family as an excuse to get away with the bad things. But that's not, that's not true for every family at, at all. Not true for every family. But some families are, I mean, p people are assholes and they, yeah. You know, yeah, basically. Is the festival maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful. Anyway. Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My loins are still full of poison and I appreciate it. You could suck it out with your mouth. I wish your loins were full of poison and I would inject more poison into you just to watch it like fight each other and burn you from the inside out. You disgusting little rat man. Wait. Knock it off, Terra Terra. Oh, your tender loins, you betcha. That's... She's just ignoring something. She's so naive and stupid. So what do you call it, loins? Um, that guy. <laughs> Talk about fun pies at Tropical Island. Maybe it should be a barbecue or something. I would love a barbecue. Uh, the campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill. It's fun to and snake and kill it. <laughs> yes! Kill some snakes. I'll show you the trouble. Your family should at least be going to try to help them. Should get dressed, especially if they're treating you wrong. I mean, I agree with that to a certain extent, but some people are beyond help. Um... Some people are beyond help, and you can only help people so so much. Some people don't want to be helped. Some people are just born assholes, and they don't want they don't want the help. They want to have the power or the attention that comes across to them. Well, let's talk, let's say this topic another time. It's not it's not not relevant to the game. You just looking for one not enough for you? I love how she wants to kill animals. Not that like, killing animals is fun, it's that she's very interesting. I see. It seems like everyone has different ideas, but if we're going to be like the ocean then first... Skinner. This is what it's all about. The red bag or the blue bag? A swimming bag? Love Correct. Love, love. Whoa. Well, the Nabians... That's right, I assume everyone. Well, Sul swims actually. I hope that's okay. Little orange girl's great. I hope she's around for a while. Are you telling us to go swimming? A situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything, it's just if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going to go swimming. There's no way anyone wants to be so thoughtless to go swimming in a situation like this. In a lovely beach with like clear sands. Who would want to swim in a water like this? I mean, it could be full of water. Yahoo! Exactly. Ibuki. Yahoo. Yeah. Scratchbot is is something. That's right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With whether this is nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. I hate him. I hate him so much. Even my loins agree. See? Well, tentalines, I understand. Wait. Oh, seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? I don't know. I've just met you. And this is crazy. All right, let's go change. I love his his art style and the way he's drawn. And his thunder brows. I will always lightning brows, I could say. Thunder is the sound. Those of us were excited to go swimming went to get swimsuits from Musami. And ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime? I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> you feel like you're up for it. I'm very really happy if you came along too. And I think someone's got a crush. A friend crush. Because you can love your friends. It's the same thing. Just without the... There's no danger on this island. I hope he doesn't turn into a bastard. If he turns into a bastard, I'll be very upset. Because he's just such a nice guy. 
I'm not reading this text. Is that really true? I nearly not. Is that so? Am I actually wrong? Am I so out of touch? No, it's children who are wrong. Then there's Byakya. <laughs> you should definitely go and put a swimsuit on um, Akane. I think it would like be better for like the water. You should definitely go and do that. Um, uh, yeah. Dots. Don't talk to me. Swing blows. Talk to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Oh, he's so blunt. A lovely character. He's my favourite so far. He's not. I'm not becoming... I'm being respectful. I want her to just be comfortable. Because that's probably really stuffy. She's travelled here, in it? Exactly. Good one. Everyone should be swimming in the nude. It's, it's be respectful. Everyone should swim in the nude. Especially, including, not especially, including, including, including Byakuya. <laughs> You're not going to swim? I'm like really, really sleepy right now. You should definitely, hey. Folds need love too. Thick thighs save lives. And all that. I'm really, really, really sleepy right now. It is fun. I see, it'd be a problem if you fell asleep while you're swimming. I'd probably drown. I might definitely drown. But through sleeping so much like this. She's so some bold notes. I cough. She just so hard to eat when you're talking. You're not gonna swim Byakuya? Of course not. That's enough. Oh, I don't think this makes us friends or anything. Our reasons can be more different. Different reasons? Wow, people are different to me. How dare they? You can't accept the situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? A coward? What? That is something thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? So why aren't you going to swim? I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. Yes, you're already salty enough. That's also when we boast about, like, little kids say the same thing and they don't want to swim. <laughs> Speaking of which, every I was not finished! So much time I turned around and I uh, saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping in the ocean and shouted for joy. I was not finished. Other people I wanted to talk to, like, um, Yahoo! the other people. Next time, I'm to gain a max room of the pot filter. Cough right into the mic. I shall do that just for you. Maybe. See, they're even respectable swimsuits. I was not being a pervert. I knew they would be respectable. Look at that. Yay! Although, um, that's quite the swimsuit there. Um, that's quite the bulge, actually. Hello, sir. Don't drink the water. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? I don't even like his voice when it's voice active. It's like, mm, it's like it's like nails scratching the back of my head, like right there, inside. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Thank you, Nakamura. Do it. Don't be a coward. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. There we go. See, something you we can agree with. You're not just a pig for women. You're just a pig in general. You seem a little too open, like you're covering too many bases by yourself. So roast him. He's a chef. He can take it. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. Yeah. I got the umbrella alone. It's true. True. He looks a bit too much like he's inbred, though. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? <laughs> if 
feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing other students have fun. I, I, well, that could be like a really, really, really heavy crying face. Or a rugby goal. <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to get along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. <laughs> Let's keep this pace up and do our best peacefully. Enjoy this heart throbbing school trip. Dots. What's this feeling of alienation? I really can't put into words. Am I really wrong about this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! I'm gonna do it! Huh? Does something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I'm the only one worrying about like I'm an idiot. It's okay, I'm gonna go for it. He's gonna strip off right now and walk into the ocean with a swimsuit. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Oh, we are in the tropics. It's probably rain season, right? Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds doesn't feel natural at all. Uh huh? Hey, what's going on? Big rot row. What did you do? This is obviously not right. This is the sun just a few minutes ago. Weather could change, buddy. <laughs> what is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way something this shouldn't be happening. And that is that moment. Just when it seemed like this couldn't get any more confusing, it just suddenly appeared. Is this our boy? Uh, uh, mic check, mic check. Is this our boy? Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? Her voice is so laid back and so gleeful that seemed out of place. But it's different than Asami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging beneath that laid back voice. I don't know where I found it. My body shuddered. Who could it be? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. Oh, the music of this is taking me back. It's so good. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could it be? Could it be this voice? If this is, oh, this is very bad. I've got to do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Hey, wait. Very this is like, that was an unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go to Chabot Park, was it? It's Harry. Hey. Uh, yeah, wait for her. Wait for me. Mm. What about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. It's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. <laughs> Not the thumpy footsteps on the sand of all places. <laughs> Shit, what the hell is going on? They really piss at something fucking stupid. He likes to swear. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabba Park, right? Aww. Boo, there's just too many Mr. Krabs. That's a different show. Fine, I'll just step on them later. The crab's better running away, we still can. Leave it, sure. How much poo is my thing had? Oh, we go straight there. That's fine. It's your own drive walk park. Sorry, shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? Eh? Hey, hey. 
Where are you? Show yourself. I've missed that laugh so much. There he is. There's our boy. Why, hello there. Thank you all for waiting. I lost my headphones. I don't want to put this back on. <laughs> Long time no see, guys. It's our first time we met you. Honestly. I am Monokuma. I'm the headmaster of this academy. Uh, now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I'd say is... Lame. This is so friggin' lame. Lame, I say. Lamer than the lamest lame sauce. Lame sauce is pretty good on chicken. Oh, wait. Lame sauce? Is that tasty? Yeah. Hey, hey. Just as I thought. It was you. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence. Ah, shut up. Hey. I'm livid, you know. I'm about to ready a bath thanks to you lukewarm attitude. It's what's this heart throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey. This isn't fun at all, you better knock off this fast right now. What are you thinking? You gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. No one wants to see high school students living calm, peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. Oh, I fucking love this guy. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What's going on? What is this thing? Okay, why don't you remember him? That's interesting. Now I'm really sus of him. I was kind of sus that he's here to begin with, but now he's like acting like he doesn't remember him. Assuming this, he doesn't remember him at all. Sus. Be careful, everyone. Stand back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah! Opening. <laughs> Did her pants just come off? <laughs> Excellent. I could graduate from high school in the first game, so the fact that these here are the first of high school is Yeah. I mean, clearly he graduated, but he graduated. Um, uh, because he's one of those rich kids who got the qualification by paying for it, and then actually needs to get the, get the grades, so he went to the popular high school to, you know, to actually do the studying. I think it was nice, but it's true. It's true. But I mean, you know these rich people are like they say I've got they they just fast track it. First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. Wow. Neither do I. So They're confusing. I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> That's better. That's 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 more cuter. What? You beat the pink into her. What is this? Don't beat up people until they turn pink. Everyone. Or any other colour for that matter. No. Don't beat people up. 
I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. What's this? My my, to find your big brother's fashion senses. Monomi, a little troublemaker. Hey. Big brother, Monomi. My little sister. My current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to my little sister, Monomi. <laughs> There's only an external setting, after all. Hey. Why do I have to be a little sister? Big sister, then. You want to be a little sister? Then I got separated at birth. I don't like this. That doesn't feel right. Yep, you're definitely more of my little sister. So that's how it's gonna be, one of me. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I'll never forgive you. How? If this display changed on one of me. <laughs> Great. It's all floor breaking. My favorite. It's not. I won't forgive you. I will let you make your own settings. Oof. You said mean bear. Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? That's what punching kind of does. How about that? Now you learned your lesson. What is this? Have you saw animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane. Um, if you had Irish TV in the 90s, there was the presenter, Ray Darcy, used to get beaten up frequently by a panda. A, t a stuffed panda was thrown at him and he used to fight it for like, at one point for like five minutes, he was brawling with a stuffed panda. Um, and they kept throwing him back out and they kept throwing him back in and it was really funny um, good stuff his name was Ted if only I saw the magic stick I could have technically been the awful monokuma so hold yourself open even one second opening is life threatening on the battlefield Hey, hey. I mean it could be it could be. It's definitely not. Irish TV is just weird. What's this in performance? Huh? Who friggin' knows? Yeah, who fucking knows? Still friggin'. Sorry, friggin'. I'm gonna use the proper word. Friggin'. She's so, she's so clever. Mm. But it's obviously something bad is happening. Oh. What is this? What's going on? <laughs> Sob. Oh. Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking, she matches me now, you know. How sensitive, yeah. What the? There's more of them? What, you say? what does this mean? What is the black and white tanuki? Bear. I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear, I'm Monokuma. What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Yeah. Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal, I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope Peaks Academy. This is... Monokuma? Did you say headmaster? Anyway. Right, guys, because everyone here is gathered. Now then, as headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? The school trip where everyone gets along has no simulation at all. So damn boring. Simulation, I should say. No one wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey. You guys agree with me, right? So let's begin our killing school trip. I mean, I had a feeling this was definitely going to happen. Because it was too, way too nice and cuddly. Um, so I'm glad. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. Look how sassy he is. Killing contestants. I won't you. What are you saying? You're absolutely positively not allowed such bloody events. Jeez, your sprain is so tiny, Monomi. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention to this thing, except in manga. The little sister never is smarter than their big brother. You get fucked. Allow me to explain. Now then. We got off topic for a while, so let's get back to explanation of Killing School Trip. <laughs> what do you mean, Killing School Trip? Isn't it obvious you guys are going to kill each other? Awesome. Well, 
kill each other. I see. Kill each other? What are you saying? This is possible. Well, I don't think it's kind of lame boring that you can't just leave the oven as you all get along. So I'm changing the rules. If you are hostile, then please kill one of your friends. And then, make it to the class trials without getting caught. Class trial? That's right, the class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. This, Allow is, me to explain. this is the last game, basically. Um, so this is a refresher for those of you who don't know. If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members will pass participate in the school or the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the black and kill will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with the murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Notice the word, the word will survive, and then punishment. So it's obviously implied that punishment might be your murder. That's how the class trial rules go. That's all there is to it. In other words, Which means, if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave the island. However, if you're found guilty during the class trial, then you'll be punished. <laughs> Poo hoo hoo. It's a bit familiar, but simple, right? What the heck? You keep the word repeating the word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. <laughs> Straight to the point. Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. So when someone dies, at least two people are gonna be dead because of it. The murdered and the murderer, if we find it out. Unless we kill someone and get away with it. And if we fail everyone else dies apart from the murderer. It's great. <laughs> what sort of Tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. Me too. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw. Hmm. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please choose whatever method of killing you prefer. No time limit, you can just kill as you please. It's an all you can murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's, awesomely That's what the killing school trip is all about. I clutch my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with us. That's right, I want not to kill someone. No way! Not ordering anyone to kill. Whether you or not you kill someone, it's highly up to you. No, no! But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait until you're in your forties and start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? What happens if nobody gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave the island? Who knows? Anyway. Anyway, not for all of you to go through this killing school trip in a healthy, positive manner. What's going on? <laughs> Just a minute, why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it isn't obvious. That's the reason you'll need to kill each other. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, you've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what may happen. I'm gonna do it. Wanna fight? Trying to beat the crap out of that black and white bear. She's so smart and intelligent and intimidating when she's like angry. Like, I think she could take us all. Of I volunteer myself to die so she can escape. I'll even do it so I die so someone else can't blame so she can live. Let's go. Who would dare try to kill or put a stop to the force of necessary? We keep seeing stupid stuff. The athletes in our group are going to lose their patience. Is that so? I guess I expected this reaction. 
He doesn't do things by force, and I have to fight back with a little force of my own. Of force, what are you going to do? Search your gods that dwell between the light and darkness, and according to our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts! This is interesting, I didn't expect this coming. Oh. 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 I've seen lots of strange surprising things since I first arrived on this island. But still, a phenomenon taking place right now in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Big rabbits. Why did that statue move? Wrong. It's no statue, they're mono beasts. M -m 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 monster? Hey. No, I just said they're mono beasts. <laughs> yeah, idiot. The strange thing about the genuine shapes that is when it happens, your voice went my words. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of monster might be normal in the anime and video games. That's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. That's in Minecraft. No. No, this can't be. This is too weird. Don't tell me. Am I have a good nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare says they just admitted this to bring his total flower patch. <laughs> I like her. I really, really like her. I hope. I really do hope she's around for a while. Jeez, you guys are such a skeptical bunch. Say this, I think your narrow emotions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid, ignorant cavemen are better than we all. Like Classifying this. events according to the genre, genre is the disease of the modern age. Everyone. everyone, please stay back. I will protect everyone. Even the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Hook. What's this? Ugh. I know, that's nausea, you sickly sweet sense of justice makes you want to puke. Let's go! It's punishment time! All right then, it's decided. You be my example to everyone. <sighs> They're gonna kill the rabbit. said that but I said it too. <gasps> what is that? That <laughs> face. That face is great. I'm saying the first stage and Monami is already dead? What? Is that a demon? Perhaps it's a weapon from the future? The hamsters are all passed out too. Great. Um what did you miss? We have went to the, the square uh, Monokuma has Monokuma has come. He said, basically said we're all going to kill each other, which is such a surprise. Can't believe we're going to kill each other. Then he turned I think it's the, the rabbit into a Monokuma rabbit, and then he killed her with giant robots to prove that the killing games are real. And if you disobey the rules, you'll be punished and get killed. Basically, we're all murdering each other now, or trying to figure out merging. Explain the rules of the trials. I shout that really loud. I re yeah. It's basically explained that if we kill someone, we've got to try and get away with it. Otherwise, we'll be murdered in a trial. But if we do get away with it, then everyone else in the trial gets killed, and then we get to leave the island. So basically, killing people is the way we leave the island. And then he killed, uh, killed Asami. Or mono me, whatever you call her now. She's dead now. Mono me's a draft weapons of destruction. Look at his little face there. 
How, how could you be mad at him? It's just adorable. It's sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. Not that we didn't realize it was a monster. It was just vastly out of our element. We've never experienced anything like this before, and no idea what to do with it. The reality was a very lethal at this particular moment. Nope. But you were. I will be, I will be uploading this to YouTube though, so that I can keep a record of it. Because I want to keep a record of it. That's right, this is what I wanted. If you think of despair, giving us an example of totally the right call. Things you'll be laughing when I came you're completely frozen. Yeah, pretty much. Nobody, nobody important said, just the robot rabbit lady. I said we have forgotten to breathe. I was just that horrified. We're powerless. No different than ants washed away in a storm. Well, now. now then, I believe I made my point. Well, lad. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. Hmm. Also, this is a killing school trip. Avoided day at the E handbook. There, the rules of the killing school trip are written, so you better read through thoroughly. I think those are the rules don't excuse either. Well, that's also true for any society, really. Yeah, fair point. Now then. Enjoy the man that's love reading a high school trip. After he says peace. One of Kimmer's one of his vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. Didn't even care that this is aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We have this tight expression on our pale faces. That's what, what just happened? Um. I don't even want to give him the attention. I hate him so much. I won't believe. I won't believe. I just won't believe it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Be one thing if we went up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossibly happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those monobies sort of whatever they're called are machines. Those monokilmen must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put in this explainable situation? Answer me. Yeah, who is it? Who? Uh... <laughs> it could be anyone. Not like I believe it anyway, there's no way I believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this point. We don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of. Mm -hmm. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. Yep. Looked around at each other's faces. It's obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone. I'm supposed to admit the truth of what he just said. Let's be honest with ourselves and admit that we have also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Have I ever heard a musical duo called Emotionally Oranges? I don't think I have. Emotional. I don't think I have. Um, 
please please DM me some info if you're going to share with it. Clay will be interested. Which means in order to escape the helpless situation, we must sacrifice the person. However, it's possible that killing may never occur, but you know, different. So I can be confident that something like that isn't going to happen. No, there's no way I can ever sure. In this type of situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. I'm suspicious of someone, or something. You'll start to be suspicious of everything, even of yourself. That's why it feels so helpless. I'll DM you because their music really reminds me of Snoop Dogg or album. So I think you're like, ooh. Do you like that album? It's a good album. The day became a day like any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. Pleasure day. A very meaningful day full of despair. <laughs> a very positive way to say you've all fucked. That was the beginning. The killing school job began. Begun. Begun. Begone. Begin. And the tropical island stage. I'm gonna imagine these scenes are like not based on stuff that's gonna happen in games, so we won't be like be tricked. If they are stuff that we're going to see in game, then I'm going to be very, very annoyed at it. Because it's kind of giving away some stuff. But maybe it's all just like a smoke and mirrors. Probably not. <laughs> Let's be honest. But you know, to be continued. Oh, we got a for show broken wand. For show, it's broken. So I say, I think we're gonna do now. Show enough. I think I'm gonna stop here because oh, roll date. Once the murder is taken place, taken place, class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for surviving students. If the blackened exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, then the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, five black students will be forgiven the crime and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people have discovered the body for the first time. Very important to know. So, if three or more people have seen the body, then everyone will know there's been a kill. Otherwise, like, accomplices and stuff can help. I guess. And, like, someone could just see it, just not say anything. Unless they tell people. Destroying any property on the island without permission is explicitly prohibited. It's with surveillance cameras and monitors. You are free to investigate the island at your own discretion. Your actions and this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added as the headmaster's discretion. At the headmaster's discretion. Right. We still already saved it, so we're not gonna not gonna look at any more of this. I have we just double check to be safe. I am gonna I'm really be paranoid saver. I need to be I know I've just done that, but let's just 
I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go for three hours. It's a good place to stop because we can then get into the, the, the meat of the game properly next time. Uh, so, that's the wrong screen. There we go. All that matters. Yes, thank you for stopping by. It's been been lovely. I'm really excited to play through this game properly. I've been wanting to play it since, I guess, January, February, March last year. When I did play the first one. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for you know, just, just being here, hanging out. Um, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you give us a follow so you can see more. Um, so, uh, Nice to have new faces stick by, and obviously, if someone knows like you, Bance knows the game, and I get stuck, like trying to figure stuff out where to go, like a little shove in the right direction, and if I ask for it, it'll be be helpful. Um, yeah, no, um, we'll be doing this again. I think Tuesday. I am changing my schedule for ne for starting November for next like, extra stream, so Monday, we'll be doing like a just Pokemon for once off. Tuesday and Thursday will be on our playing playing this, and then Friday will be just. Friday in the evening will be something else. Um, yeah, now, Bats, do you stream at all? Or are you just a, a just a viewer? Let's check you out. Why not? You do stream. Sweet. I know you're playing Dungrapper 3. Cool. I will not be watching that only because I don't want to split off myself, but I will give you a follow. And, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, thank you everyone. So let's... If there's anyone people we could raid right now, that would be really cool. Because I want to pass on the love. Otherwise, we will call it there and... I'll see you all next time. Let's quickly check. Uh. Ooh, Foxy is playing some of Miles Morales. It's going to play Foxy. Be cool. Time to get them a raid. Miles Morales is cool. Yeah, so, I was going to say hi to Foxy. And I will see you all next time where I play probably Pokemon because it'll be Monday. So have a good day, everyone. Uh, and yeah, be awesome. Bye.